So first order systems are usually systems that contain storage elements are modeled as first order systems that can store some energy. So what happens? Because energy is stored, it takes some time for the system to respond. So mostly thermometers, thermocouples, thermistors, such temperature measuring instruments are modeled as first order system. So first order system is represented by the differential equation. So zero order system, we had only these two terms. Now we have one more term on the left side, A1 dy by dt plus A0 y is equal to F of t. So this is your uh, differential equation of the first order system. So Ft is given. So we have to find out what is y. So that is how does the instrument respond? So rewriting this by dividing throughout by A0, A1 by A0, dy by dt plus y is equal to k into f of t. So we have already seen k. Now, a1 by a0, we call it by another name that is tau. So tau dy by dt plus y is equal to k into f of t. So this is the differential equation of the first order system where tau is the time constant of the system. So, time constant of the measuring instrument. So, first order systems are require only one constant to define the properties, that is the time constant. So, if we know the time constant, we can predict the behavior of first order systems to any signal. So, first we will see the case of a step function, step input, that is a sudden input, like when we a thermometer into hot water. Okay, so step function is given by a into u of t equal to zero when t is less than or equal to zero on the minus side. So till then it is zero. After that, a into u of t equal to a. t is greater than or equal to zero on the plus side. So till zero, it is zero. After that, it is equal to A. So that is the amplitude of the step function, that is the value of the step. And U of T, A is the amplitude of the step function. U of T is the unit step function, shown in the next slide. So unit step function is U of T, T less than or equal to zero, it is zero, and after T, greater than zero, it is equal to one. So it has a value of one only. So this one multiplied by any amplitude A, we can get steps of different magnitudes. Okay, so that is your step input. So this is the unit step function. This one multiplied by A will give the step input. So now we have to find out why. So we have to solve this differential equation. So, this is of the form dy dx plus by equal to q. So, this becomes, so f of t you replace by a u of t. And the initial condition, so whatever is the initial temperature shown by the thermometer, etc. So that we should know, then only we can predict what will happen after some time. So y0 equal to, that y at time t equal to zero is y0. So this is the initial temperature shown by the instrument before dipping into hot water, say. So the solution is, so we have studied the mathematics, we will not go into the details. So y at a time t is given by Ka plus y0 minus Ka into e raised to minus t by tau. So t is the time. So when t equals 0, what is the input output shown by the instrument? So that is y0. So when t equal to 0, e raised to 0 is 1, k 
K A minus K cancels out. So I T equal to Y naught. So it um, follows the initial condition that Y T should be equal to Y naught. Then when T equal to infinity, what will happen? E raised to infinity, E raised to minus infinity becomes zero. So this term becomes zero. So the final value equal to K A. So this is the proportionate to A, we get some output. The final value will be proportionate to the input step. So in between, how does it vary? So that is given by this E raised to minus T beta. So it exponentially decays to the final value. Initial value is Y naught. Initial value is Y naught. And then slowly it increases or decreases to the final value K. So this is the total time response. How does the instrument respond at different values of time? So Ka is the steady response, the final response. And this is the transient response, how it changes with respect to time. So time response. If you plot for different values of t by tau, so we can dimensionalize, non-dimensionalize it. So irrespective of the value of tau, the shape will be like this. So you write in terms of t by tau. So for different values of t by tau, what will be y t? So that will be exponentially increasing to the final value k a, starting from y naught. So why not it starts, increases finally to Ka. So if it was a zeroth order system, it would have gone immediately to Ka. But since it's a first order system, it responds slowly and reaches the final value Ka after okay, theoretically infinite time. So time constant. So time constant is defined as Okay, it is a measure of the speed of the system response. How fast the system responds to a signal is shown by this time constant. And it can be defined as the time taken for response to reach the final value if the initial rate of change is maintained. So that is in this graph. So when you dip the thermometer into hot water, it starts the temperature starts increasing. So this is the initial rate of change. So if you are maintaining this rate of change for certain time, so this time at which it will reach the final value Ka, if the initial rate of change was maintained, that is, so here T by tau is equal to 1, that means T equal to tau. So that time is equal to the time constant. So the tangent to the initial slope to the y curve, it will meet the final value at a time equal to time constant. Okay, so that from the graph, I hope it is clear. So we can rewrite this solution in terms of what is called error fraction. So what is measurement error? Measured quantity value minus a reference quantity value. So here, what is the reference quantity value? That is the ideal value, the correct value. So what should the thermometer read? Ideally, it should read the temperature of the hot water. Okay, but initially it is at some temperature. So after dipping, it starts increasing and reaches the final value. So what is the error at any instant of time? So the error is measured value. So that is the displayed value is yt. So error is yt minus y infinity. So that can be expressed as a fraction of the total step. So error fraction gamma as a function, uh, which is a function of time is equal to yt minus y infinity. This is the error and y naught minus y infinity is the step change. So initially it is at y naught. Finally, it should show y infinity. So this is the step change. So the error as 
a fraction of the step change. So that is equal to e raised to minus t by tau. So remember this equation. So this can help you solve problems easily. So if you know the initial temperature, final temperature, and of course the time constant, we can find out the error at any time t. That is y t minus y infinity. Okay, so now we can try for various values of time. So what happens when the time is five time constants e raised to minus t by tau. So t equal to five tau. So five tau by tau is five e raised to minus five. So error fraction is 0 0.007. So that means the error is very small, less than one percent. So here we can assume that the instrument is showing the final value. Okay, so that is the error fraction is negligible. So therefore, first order system can be said to respond to a step change after approximately five time constants. So after five time constants, it is showing almost the final. So what is time constant? So it is also numerically equal to the time taken for response to reach 63.2% of the step change. So when t equal to 1, where is to minus 1, that is 0.632. So time constant is numerically equal to this, but definition is what we had given earlier, that is the time taken to reach the final value if the initial rate of change was maintained. Okay. So after three time constants, e raised to minus t by tau, out of to three tau by tau, is i raised to minus three. That is around, our fraction is 0 0.05. So the response reaches 95% of the step change. And after five time constants, of course, we have not worked out, it is 99.3% of the step change. So now we can use this formula of, uh, of error fraction to calculate the uh, temperature at the instant of time. So, for example, if the thermometer with 10 percent per second and kept at a room temperature of 30 degrees Celsius is dipped into a fluid of temperature 80 degrees Celsius, we can determine the temperature indicated by the thermometer after 25 seconds by substituting the various values in the formula. So, it's a simple substitution. So, I hope you can do it yourself. Y naught is 30 degrees Celsius, Y in between is 80 degrees Celsius, the final value. Time constant is given, tau equal to 10 seconds. And we are interested in the temperature Y at a time T equal to 25. This is 2.5. So Y at 25 can be calculated. Okay, so such problems are there in the review server. I did not enable the review server this because of the, we had the problem, the power and something in our slides were not visible. Okay, so similarly, another problem is, so if you are given the temperatures at, various, at a certain point of time can be determined the time constant. So initial temperature is 21 degrees Celsius, final temperature is 149 degrees Celsius. So after three seconds, it indicates 93 degrees Celsius. So from this, can we determine the, other, the time constant? Obviously, yes. Of course, it is not good to determine the time constant from a single reading like this. So that is why in the lab, we fit a line and then determine the slope and use that to determine the time constant. Okay. So if you are determining from a single point, depending on where the point is, if it is you know, especially if it is near the start or near the end, then it will give very large reading. Everyone is, uh, the uncertainty will be very large. So the answer is 3.63 seconds. So 